Hello and welcome back to the channel, How We Move the Decimal. In today's video, I am continuing my trip at the bins. You can kind of tell how busy the bins is from this video on this side. Again, the clothing side got very, very busy when they would bring out in new bins and they would switch half of the clothing every time and they would switch half of the hard goods every time. So you could kind of uh, judge which bins were going to be switched out. Unfortunately, I really like the Carhartt sweater I was holding, but they it had a company's name on it. And that's what we did find with a lot of stuff in the bins is it, even if it was like Under Armour or Carhartt or even North Face, it tended to be embroidered with other companies logos on them, which do sell. It just takes a long time, even if it is a, like a good quality sweater. Sometimes I will buy them just for myself because a good quality sweatshirt is a good quality sweatshirt. But if I'm looking to sell on eBay, I'm probably not going to buy that. I found a whole bunch of Levi's jeans, even the kind that I sell pretty regularly, which is $5.69. But being a $1.75 per pound and knowing how heavy jeans are because I ship them a lot, it wasn't worth it for me price wise. If I'm selling these for $15.99 to $20, if I'm having to pay $5 for the jeans, the the margins just aren't there for me. So I wasn't going to pick them up there. However, like at my local thrift shop, when they do 75% off days, then I will pick up jeans there. But I'm not going to pick up like 505s, 569s. I might pick up vintage 501s or other um, vintage sh jorts. So jean shorts, I would have picked those up. They're lighter and they do sell quite regularly. There is a Duluth trading shirt in here that I do pick up. It's like plaid. You can kind of see the sleeve on it. I do pick that up. It's a 3X Duluth trading, much like REI or even Orvis. Sell pretty regularly for me. So I will pick those up. The Goodwill sweatshirt was funny. And I didn't pick that up to resell it. I picked it up for myself. It was a nice thick sweatshirt. All of these bins, again, that I'm going through in this video, much like the last video, have been overnight. So they have been picked through. This is the Duluth Trading shirt that I do pick up. I'm looking to get around $20 to $30 for it. So nothing like crazy, but that is a pretty decent margin because that shirt is very, very light. I don't think I even paid $0.75 cents for it because of how light it is. So... I will pick that up. Same with like athletic wear it tends to be very light. Bathing suits are very light. Either in this video or the next one, I find a large quantity of underwear <laughs> um, and none of it's new with tags. So uh, you can't sell that on eBay. You can't sell used underwear. So just don't even mess with it. I do look at like the tags on ties because the ties are Again, very light. These are new with tags, Nike dry fit running shorts. And I do pick those up again and probably not even paying 50 cents for them. And they are new with tags. I will pick up vintage scarves and stuff. Uh, the, I will also pick up like these, if these would have been the vintage Adidas snap pants from the 90s, I would have picked them up. Being a child born in the 80s, have you know, everybody knew those like red or white Adidas snap pants. Those will sell quite well. So if it would have been that, I'm looking at tags. And, you know, if it's something sold at Walmart or a Target brand, I'm not going to pick it up. This has been picked through pretty well, but I like the amount of clothing in this bin where when they first come out, they are super full and they are so hard to go through. I would prefer this amount of clothing so it's easier to get to the bottom. If I'm not hurting myself reaching over. I'm not hurting my hands to grab really heavy things. There were weighted blankets in the bins. There's no way I would buy a weighted blanket from the bins because a seven pound weighted blanket is almost $14. That's not worth it. But there were a lot of weighted blankets, sleeping bags, winter coats, things that people are not going to buy because they are so heavy. I guess once a month they have like half price.
price day at the bins or at the spins at least where I'm assuming the stuff they can't get rid of. I don't know what they do with the stuff they can't get rid of. I'm not talking to the employees and the employees were not super friendly. They wanted us to get out. I'm going to test the elastic bands on these pants. They are vintage. Any vintage pants test the elastic band. They were dry rotted, so I didn't end up picking those up, even though those are some pretty cool vintage athletic warm up, track pants, stuff like that. They do sell, but they don't sell if the elastic is rotted because someone is not going to re sew elastic into that. That's just a lot of work. Cabela's, I will pick up two sometimes. I didn't like the size on that. I don't tend to pick up women's Cabela's. But if I do pick up Cabela's, it tends to be the um, fishing shirts. I don't know what they're called, but the ones with like vented backs and stuff. The nicer button up fin um, fishing shirts, I will pick those up. I did pick up a Cabela's bag. Actually, my husband picked up a Cabela's bag and gave it to me. So I will do that. But this is not, wasn't what I was looking for. So I wasn't going to pick it up. We were much pickier and choosier this time around just because we're looking at the space constraints of our own property where we store things. We just don't have the ability to store a lot of items. And if it's going to be long tail or if it's going to take a long time to sell, I'm not going to store it. Hence not picking up jeans. Again, like I said in last video, there is a ton of bed sheets and curtains. The both days we were there, I'm only filming on the Sunday. I'm not filming on the Friday. So we were there Friday and, or Saturday and Sunday. And I'm only filming on the Sunday because I didn't want to get kicked out on the Saturday and not be able to come back on Sunday. Sundays, they're open at noon. We got there right when they opened. There were people lined up at the door. We waited till everybody got in and then we went in. Several people just went in and grabbed full cartfuls. They already had cartfuls of stuff before I even got to one of the bins. I don't know if they just fill the carts and then go sort it out later. But the we had already got a little over 100 pounds the first day and we get a little under 100 pounds on this day. And I will have videos of me sorting through all of it. I end up getting this sweater because it's Urban Outfitters. And the bins were very much a hodgepodge. Like we've been there at the beginning of winter before. We've been there at the end of winter. We've been, been there at the end of summer. I thought this was a really pretty flannel shirt. I actually got it for my husband, but not to resell. But the we've been there where it's been like all winter clothes or all summer clothes. And this was very much a mix. So I'm wondering if they're relying more heavily on donations to the goodwill that they share in the parking lot with themselves or if they're relying on donations directly to them to have a wider variety versus more out of season items okay so our bins also says you cannot leave your carts what you just saw in the video were people leaving their carts so they would fill a cart and then they would put a bed sheet over it and get another cart and there are there were signs in several spots saying don't leave your cart unattended basically once you fill your cart check out and come back in I, my husband is there with me, so we both have our own carts. And when they would push us all off to the side, so when they would do, like, um, take bins out and put bins in, they would do that every hour. 
And when they would do that, my husband and I would go through our carts. We'd sort everything out. We would look things up on eBay. Then we would fill up the carts so they're semi-equal and we would keep going. And basically our goal was just to go until we filled both carts up and then we'd be done. Except for today on Sunday when I'm filming, we actually left before the carts were full because um, we had to get home. We had childcare, so we had to go home and we had a hard stop. So we knew we had to leave at three o'clock and that's when we had to stop that day. The day before on Saturday, we stopped when we had two full carts and we knew roughly that'd be around a hundred pounds because we had been there before and that's when we knew when to stop. The ironically, also, I was looking for suit coats for my husband while we were here for work, because if you've ever tried to find suit coats for people, they are so expensive. And if you can get one for $5 versus 500, why not? The, and I think I'm gonna, in one of the videos where I'm sorting through this, I'm actually, I, I think you see it in the next video of this. I get a couple vintage pillowcases and in one of the, I have them soaking right now and I'm going to record a video of the water coming off of them because it is absolutely disgusting. I don't know if it came off of them from where they were or if it came off of them from um, the bins, but it is really, really gross. So I will show the water of that, I guess, if anybody likes that. But I was like, oh gosh. And if nothing else, that means you should definitely wash the stuff you get from the bins. I know people are like, I don't pre-wash my stuff. People have sensitivities to perfumes. Um, it's clean at the thrift stores. I don't care if you don't wash from the normal thrift store, but if you buy something from the bins, 100% clean it before you sell it. One, you might not be able to get more money for it, but two, I found some really disgusting things in the bins the first day. I did not find them this day. I don't know if it's because I had been here so early, but I had found some pretty gross stuff like um, a half eaten banana in one of the bins, clearly soiled diaper. I think I showed that in the first video. So it's like, it, it, there's gross things in there. My hands were absolutely disgusting and I had to keep going and washing them in the bathroom, which is an advantage I had having a partner there. I was able to leave my cart with them and go to the bathroom and wash my hands when they got too disgusting because I don't wear gloves. Whereas a lot of people were wearing gloves here. I don't touch hard goods, so it wasn't that big of a deal. However, on Saturday, the first day there, there was like a sewing project that wasn't finished. And it had a bunch of um, needles, like straight pins in it. And I did touch that and I did get jabbed with a straight pin. I am up to date on my tetanus shots. Every time you have a baby, you get your tetanus shot booster. So I'm up to date on my tetanus shots, but wow, that was a lot. And it hurt, it, it did hurt. Um, so be aware of that. The I'm going through this one more time because I can't move on to another bin. Every bin around me is very, very full. And the ones I can move back to are pretty far away. I picked up the white shirt of this. I didn't pick up this one because it had a tear in it. If it has a stain, I'm more than willing to try to get the stain out, but I will not patch because even when you are disclosed that you have patched, that's something I don't want to do is patching it up. So thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.